Welcome, welcome, one and all. Welcome to the Hoops Fix All-Star Classic 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about to go down. Make sure you first away get liking and sharing so everybody's straight up onto this post. My name is Tahir Hadja and today I am with Mr. Liam Jefferson. We are your commentators for today's Hoops Fix Classic 2018. We are live around the world on Facebook and on YouTube. Make sure you like, share and subscribe to at HoopFix on Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat. You know the drill, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure everybody is getting involved now. Now, let me set the scene for you. We have some of the best young British talent about to compete right here at the Roth House in Brixton. It is about to go down. Coming up first, ladies and gentlemen, is the underclassmen competition. Team White versus Team Black. Teams are getting ready for their player introductions and getting ready to come on to the floor. Before we start, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of people we need to thank before we get this underway. Starting with Molten Basketball, thank you very much for your support. The official basketball of this year's tournament and also the Elite British Basketball League um, sponsor as well. And also, big shout out to LiveBasketball.tv. You pick we roll the only place to watch live british basketball league all season long and for all the hoops fix fans out there you get one month free with the code today and it's hasc 2018 for one month free live basketball and you can line it up for the fiba world cup qualifiers which is coming up so that's a great time to use it shout out to university of east of london uh, london's leading basketball university with bbl and mbl players such as joe kimwin flo larkai Abraham Ekpro. Also, big shout out to Sports there with the Hoops Fix branding all over the court, Hardwood Ventures clothing, Basketball Hall of Fame Belfast, a great tournament coming up. That's NCAA talent in Belfast. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you check that out. A fantastic tournament opportunity to see some NCAA basketball. Huge shout out to 506. Let me play basketball, love, bro. Always balling brand and Wilkie TV. But don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, at Hoops Fix. Player introductions are being done now. Let's get a quick preview of what's about to go down. Team White coming up. Mr. Liam Jefferson, give us the lowdown on Team White. What can we expect today? Yeah, both teams that are coming out on the floor. A phenomenal level of talent for British basketball in this country. Team White, you've got guys like Niall Harris, Jonathan Brown, who just had an MVP caliber season over at Canterbury, and LJ Morris, who's returned from the USA. And then on the black team, you've got guys like Ade Adebayo, who had a phenomenal, phenomenal game in the EABL final to lead that Barking Abbey team to their EABL title. Hosanna Katenge, who plays over at the Leicester Riders and in the Loughborough and Charmwood program, taking home under-18 MVP in the under-18s cup final. So a big game from him as well. And then Callan Lowe just returned from the Commonwealth Games where he represented the Scottish men's senior team as an underclassman. So a great achievement for Callan as well. But I just want to take one second as well to just stress how, how great it is to have the Hoop Freaks All-Star Classic back after a one-year hiatus. It's the only time in the year that we really get to see all of these guys out on the same floor competing at a high level. Going and every, at it. Everyone that you and I have spoken to this morning, whether it's during walkthrough, whether it's just uh, conversations that we've had around the venue, it's just it's the only time that they really get the opportunity to get out on the floor together, to be able to compete, to be able to show out, and to be able to show what British basketball is all about. And the future is so, so bright with these guys that are on the floor, and we'll see it with both the underclassmen and the class of 2018. It's just phenomenal, and it's great work by Sam Nita and all the guys that support him with the Hoops Fix Foundation as that non-for-profit charity where everything that they make is just reinvested back into youth British basketball, whether that be the classic, whether that be some other plans that Sam has going on for future events as well across the summer. It's just unbelievable to see, and it's great to see so many people out here as well representing and being out to back British basketball. It's just, I mean, for an end of season event, it's great to see, and I'm really looking forward to it. Hey, listen, everybody knows this event is sold out. So the only way to watch this event, if you haven't got a ticket, is with here, with me and Liam Jefferson on the live stream. Once again, like and share the live stream on Facebook and on YouTube. A little bit of history about HoopsFix.com. 
Com. It started uh, in 2010 um, and the concept beginning in 2009. But they've been always trying to put on a British All-Star Showcase from as early as 2011. And in 2014, Sam achieved it. I was there at the Brunel University where we got our first taste of what this event would all be about. And in 2015, we took it to the next level. That dunk from Kyle Carey serving up with a yeah. highlight uh, and, and the picture for this the Hoops Star, uh, so Hoops Fix All-Star Classic event. And then 2016, the last one we saw before we were starved of it. In 2017, Sam took a little bit of a break, but now we're back, it's 2018, baby. We're about to throw down, teams are stepping on to the floor. Now, fans at home, you have a huge chance to win yourself some prizes. And all you have to do is tweet us, let us know you're watching using the hashtag HASC18. A grand prize, loads of goodies for all of you Hoops Fix fans to get yourselves today. Make sure you check in, ladies and gentlemen. But Liam, we're about to get going. Don't forget, we've got the great entertainment team of Mr. Funky Town and the voice Namo Shiri in the building. They'll be entertaining the crowd today, and you can hear this crowd ready to rock and roll. So here we go. Ladies and gents, the Who's Fix All-Star Classic 2018 and the Classman game as Team White win the tip and Robin Bedford controls possession. Robin Bedford of Barking Abbey, a few Barking Abbey stars here. Delaney Powell, Bedford. Amike Nyakwo now with Powell. Hard dribble to the paint, kicks it out. Bedford driving. And that's out of bounds. Team Black gets it today. And the head coach of Team White today, Guy Coles, head coach of Team Black, is Ian McLeod. A few of those Barking Abbey guys going at each other early on. Obviously such depth in that Barking Abbey program. You've got guys like Theo Hughes and Nathan, uh, Nathaniel Delaney Powell going at each other in the first possession. So uh, I'm sure they do it in practice against each other all the time. There was low, low on Team Black today. Remember, Commonwealth fourth place with Scotland and a fantastic Commonwealth. It's Katenge though, strong to the basket. The first two points of this year's competition. He's so hard to guard when he's got his head down going at the basket like that as well. And we saw that in the under 18 uh, cup final when everything he seemed to get going to the basket just went in. And the shot blocked there. Team White, Adebayo. Strong to the basket, Adebayo featured highly in the EABL finals. We know what to expect from an explosive energy. Oh, Bedford on the floor gets himself. Was it a travel? I thought it might have been there. <laughs> now ref's going easy. Two points now for Team White. Hayden knocks it down. This guy on the ball now, Adi Adebayo, I love his game. That EABL championship final that he played for Bark and Abbey, he was everywhere. Points, rebounds, assists, steals. Such a such a long athlete for the point guard position, as I think there's a foul called on Theo Hughes, but Adebayo is such a, a, a long athlete for the point guard position, really disrupts whoever he's guarding. And he's an underclassman, so he has so much more to offer moving forward and going to have a great career at Barking Abbey. So the foul's been called, low on the baseline. He'll look to inbound, Adebayo. Setting up his man, driving with the reverse. Right hand will finish. And that's what I'm talking about. Everything for the black team at the basket. Powell driving now to the basket and the foul is called. Foul is called this time on number 15, Hughes. And now he'll head to the free throw line. One of the younger guys in the Barking Abbey roster, uh, hailing from Nottingham, the Nottingham Hoods basketball program. Shining the light on the Midlands and what the Midlands is providing to this competition. He's come on leaps and bounds as well from where he was before. I remember playing at Nottingham last year with his brother. He used to practice with us a couple of times and he'd jump in and the work that Bark and Abby have done with him, he's got much stronger around the post. He's much uh, more confident finishing around the basket as well. So great to see that, that development happening as well at such a young age. Adebayo. Looking inside, denies Hughes the possession. Ocross now finds Hughes. Hughes backing down his man, big strong body, one of the national team members, Katenge with a offensive rebound, Katenge and the foul is called. Hazana Katenge has had a, a great year this year, playing at the Loughborough Student Riders Division 1 basketball team. They had a great run in the BBL as well this year in the BBL trophy, getting through to the semi-finals and losing out to London as he makes the first. 
that was a, a great game between those two teams. London were a little surprised at what those student players brought through, and everybody knows about that young team being able to achieve what they did this year. Fantastic. Coach Mark Jarum is one of the coaching staff members in the, the class of 2018 game. Foul called now. Foul is called on number 19. Conroy Hayden, I think that one on. And a substitution now, Jamie Gray checking into the game from Myers Co. As Delaney Powell sit down, Hughes on the line. First one's a little off. And people still filling into the venue to here. So, so many guys, so many fans here to support. And obviously some people that play and that haven't been selected that are here to support some of their teammates. We've got some of the, the girls that play in the WABL here his, as well. His Bedford now, Amike Nyakwo. And Nyakwo driving. Holds it up high, holds it up strong. Hughes with his hands up and the foul is called on him once again. That would be his second personal. And that means there's two shots to come now for Amike Nyakwo. Substitution now. For Team Black, as Tosin, a woman, checks into the game, replacing Hughes. And now Amike and Yakwo on the line. Both teams super aggressive going to the basket as well. You just wonder whether the two coaches, Ian McLeod and Guy Coles, have said to their teams, let's just get out and run. Let's early doors, let's try and get some scores and some points on the board and just settle some of those nerves. Because let's, let's be honest, some of these guys, 16, 17 years old, there's going to be nerves there with them as well. Definitely. A lot of them wouldn't have paid in front of a crowd, maybe with the exception of some of those who might have seen BBL competition, NBL competition, and also the Commonwealth competition would have maybe seen crowds like this. But the other guys maybe not had a chance to play in such a, in front of a big crowd here. The Rough House is low now for three. His shot's off the front of the ring. Now he is EABL MVP, Jonathan Brown. Bedford. Bedford looking inside. Down low, Hayden. Katenge puts the strength on him, and there's the hook shot for Hayden. He'll get it to go. Tough off-balance take by Conroy Hayden. Only started playing basketball three years ago, playing in the ABL with Birmingham, uh, with Aston Manor over in Birmingham. <laughs> Great move under a lot of contact. Across. Katenge, ball movement now. A woman drives. And that's rebounded by Bedford. Bedford pushing possession, head up for him. Finds Brown, Brown calling for it. Pump fake from way downtown. Gray, back with Bedford. Something's been called off the ball here. Foul is called the number one out of bio for the hold off the ball. And now Team White will get possession back. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, let us know your thoughts and comments of the game. Who do you think is showing uh, their true potential. Remember that big MVP award at the end of both games. We want to know your thoughts. Hashtag HASC. If you post it on Twitter, we will find it. And also post it in the comments on the streams. Katenge now. Skips it across. Across now for three is no good. Gray gets his hand there. Teammate from Myers going out of bounds. And Team White will get possession back. Substitution now as Louis Norton Cuffey checks into the game for Adebayo. Now, this guy might be a little bit on the short side, but he is explosive as anything. If any of you guys have seen this guy play, you'll know what he is capable of. Bedford. Katenge jumps up there on the hedge. And a substitution now. As Morris will check in for Hayden. He'll take a break. EJ Morris as well, back after uh, being out in the, the States for a year at the Governor's Academy, where he's done a, year, a year's prep. So great to see him back as well. Some of these guys never out on venues, so it's great to see them back in the UK and having not played here for a year or two, see everybody out on the floor. Across. Across, guarded by Morris. Looks baseline, Callan Lowe hands it off. Nice pass, a warm -up blocked. But the foul has been called. The foul will be called on number 31, LJ Morris. Looked like it was clean, but the referees had a better angle than we did. Substitution now coming into the game is Veroneze, number 21 for Team White. Another one of those players. And also checking into the game is number six, Niall Harris. 
and wearing 30, Pierce, Maslin, Bedford, Amike Nyakwo, Jonathan Brown head to the bench. Veron Eze has, uh, has been a name that's been overseas this year. Where's he been playing, Liam? Veron Eze, he's been out, yeah, as you say, in the States. He's been at, oh no, sorry, Veron Eze has been in Italy. He's been out in Italy for a year uh, at Stella Azura Roma. He headed out there and has also represented Great Britain at the Under-16 European Championships as well. It's his debut in the All-Star Classic, as it is for a lot of these guys today. Harris, Harris. pulls up for three, early doors. NBL Division Three MVP at the young, ripe age of 17. Fantastic young and upcoming player. And here's Maslin now turning the corner and a shot clock violation. As Team Black will get possession back. All tied up eight apiece. Five minutes 34 left to go. Substitutions checking into the game. Cola's Lani Pekun checks in. As well as number 10 Hughes. Okay. Referee's timeout. They want to talk it over. Not sure what they want to talk it over. Oh, I think they're calling the 24 second and just making sure that I was correct. Have they got a shot clock here? We got a shot clock, I'm sure we do. Yeah, they're down on the floor, just yeah. hidden away. There's so well, many people in here that it's difficult to see where the shot clocks are, the but they're down on the baseline. Referee didn't even know there was one. He was counting it for himself. Let's just talk as well again about how great it is to have this game on back again after that year hiatus. We talked about it a little bit before. And great also to, to be able to stream this game, but also for it to be going out on livebasketball.tv. Uh, sorry, as well as li Live Basketball TV being one of the sponsors, going out on Free Sports uh, on uh, Freeview later in the week on Tuesday night. And to be able to get these guys the, the kind of exposure that comes with that. And it's great to see that junior basketball, I think it's the first time junior basketball has been on TV in a long, long time. I, I can't re recollect, although quite young, cannot recollect a time or heard of a time since it was last on TV. And if it was, it would have been a while ago. Mr. Simon Hazana doing his thing on court. Funky Town, London. One of the premier hosts in British basketball in arena entertainment. And also the voice not. So welcome back to those uh, followers now. Unfortunately, we had some technical issues there. Apologies for that. We are here at the rough house, so maybe the signal might be a little bit rough, but we've got it back now. We're live on Facebook, so once again, tell your friends and family, join us on Facebook at Hoop Fix on Facebook. Join us here on the live stream. And for all those fans looking to win some prizes, hashtag HASC18 grand prize draw. Make sure you enter yourself into that. Team's coming back onto the floor, ladies and gents. Let's get this show back underway. We're excited to see more. I mean, we just felt like we had a taster for five minutes and it was taken away from us so quickly. I'm ready to go again and we are ready to go again. And it's Patrick Lani Pakun who will hold possession here. But oh, see ya. Amari Williams, the youngest player now we've ever had at Hoops Fix. Hailing from Mansfield Giants program. Six foot eight young prospect coming through. I'm very fortunate to have seen him play, coach against him, and also have some time with him at East Midlands, a great young man, and making strides by putting his name in the hat for competitions just like this. And now he'll go to the free throw line, but reload to that crossover. I don't know who got crossed up, I didn't see, but he was gone. Great to see as well, Mari Williams on the line, heading to Myersco College next season. And uh, obviously competing against those guys a little bit this year myself. They have such a great setup up there, headed up by Neil Hopkins and the support that he gets from the rest of the coaching staff. So Amari Williams only going to get better by joining that program. Here's Maslin now. Maslin gets it to LJ Morris and he's watched out. There's now Harris on the baseline. Double team didn't work that time. Oh, speed Norton Coffey. Gets it to a woman. Rebounded by Gray. Maslin pushing the ball forward now for Team White. Maslin with the spin. Nice hands from Norton Coffey and a travel violation call. Quick enough to get in front of his man, get his hands in the cookie jar. Take a little, way, a little bit of that possession away. 
I've got to admit, I'm loving the defensive intensity from both of these teams already as well as action happens right in front of us. The defensive intensity is so high. Both teams really getting after it. Hughes behind the back now. Tries to get his own rebound. Collected by Harris. Gray driving, kicks it out. Eze, up top Maslin. On the wing with Morris. Morris now fakes the body turn. Gray with the rebound, up strong right hand finish for two. Two point lead now for Team White. And as you said, the defensive intensity is great. That's what you want to see when the best of British young talent goes against each other. We don't want this to be like the all-star game where they're taking their time, they're worried about hurting them. These guys want to prove that they're the best. Norta Covey blocked out of here. My no, goodness. no, no. Eze with the big block. And the end line possession now for Team Black. Substitutions coming in now for Team Black. Checking into the game, number 24. How about that bounce though from Veron Eze? What a block. Peter Torre checking into the game. And there's Harris with the defensive intensity. Gray behind the back, looking up. Eze inside, Gray. And another two points for Team White. They are not giving up any easy buckets today. Lani Pekun. Norton Cuffey. He pulls up now for three. Rebounded by Morris. Maslin. Harris. Harris with the reverse layup. Right hand on the opposite side of the basket. Niall Harris, so tough as well. Loved coaching him this year. Can do it all. Score, rebound and pass. Ultimate point guard, but also able to play that off guard too. Lani Pekun sourcing up his man, trying to find a route to the basket. Eze doesn't want to give him an easy look. But touching upon now Harris's game, he's really not a highlight real type of player. He does what his coach asks him to do, makes simple, effective movements in games. The coach is dream in that essence. Yeah, absolutely. Unselfish combo guard, can run the team, puts points up on the board. He's got a real high skill set as well. And his knowledge of the game is good. You just love for him to be that little bit more vocal so that he can really command his team when he's out on the floor. But absolute uh, pleasure to be able to coach this season. So now checking into the game is Ethan Price from Ipswich Basketball. They've had a great season, Ipswich Basketball, this year, um, especially on the ladies' side. Uh, they've been super successful over there. I was uh, commentating and hosting the, the National Trophy Finals over uh, UEL. And they played a fantastic game coming back against the Essex Blades. But back to this action that we have in front of us. Skip pass across to Williams now for three. Yeah, yeah, young blood, we see you. Now Harris again to the bucket, blocked by Williams. The young boy making statements. Murray Williams, both ends of the floor. It's the dagger three and then the huge block as well. This game just seems to have raised a notch on its intensity levels. I, I think it was that little break we had with the technical issues. I think it got the players really going. They've settled themselves in now. Out of bounds called. Team Black end line possession. Substitutions as Maslin and LJ Morris heads to the bench. And Mike Nyakwo checking in. And another three ball now for Arcross. And here comes Team Black. Matej Okras has that to his game as well. He's so hard to guard. Brown coming right back at you. His one is a little bit off. And there's Price now back to basket. Williams picks that one up. Okras. Lani Peku. Driving strong. Torre rebound. Lani Peku gets a second chance, but into the hands now of Team White. Amika and Yakwo. Kicks it out. Harris pulls up, short jumper. Efficiency. Now Lenny Pekun back in possession. Started his academy status at Charmwood. Then with Kola this year, his Toure. For two. And he has got a much bigger role at Kola this year and he's relished the opportunity. Putting some big numbers. Nice hands from Williams. Almost gets the steal, he was ready to go. He was ready to break away there. This young man is showing he can play with the big boys. I thought we were going to get our first dunk of the day. 
I was looking forward to that one, but the referee just pulls it back ever so slightly. And it seems that there was a little bit too much contact. Substitution now checking into the game as Callan Lowe will check back in. Sideline possession, Harris will inbound. Brown, back with Harris, uses the screen. Nice hesitation dribble, brings it back, knocks it down. Nice. Smart, smart basketball from Niall Harris. Yeah, eight, eight early points for Niall Harris, shooting four for five from the field, so the efficiency must be off the charts. Across. Low low. Now with Williams, he's looking at his man and a travel violation is called. Come on, ref, let a couple go. We wanna we wanna see something special. But no, good call there by the referee. Williams, he's, he's holding no punches back in, the, in this game. And uh, team white possession as a inbounds to Harris. Harris now guarded by Ocross. Tries to find a pass, stolen away, intercepted. Ocross holding on tight and a foul has been called. Harris in a vulnerable position. Called for the hole, two shots to come now for Ocross. Substitution now for Team White. Bedford checking into the game, replacing now Harris. What a great few first minutes he's had. Yeah. Yeah. Mate Okros at the line now, another one of those Myers Co. College guys, teammates with Callan Lowe, and he's obviously teammates today as well. Okros so hard to contain. He has that three point range, but he can really put it on the floor and create as well. So he's a tough cover, and great to see him out here representing for Myers Co. today. Second is off, uh, tipped into the hands of Mika Nyakwo. He'll slip, Tore goes up strong and the foul is called as Bedford jumps up, still in motion. And now Tore will head to the line. 53.2 seconds left to go. Still all tied up. Credit to the boys for all the intensity they are bringing to this game. A lot of early fouls as well though. You wonder if this is the first time that some of them have played in a long time. Season finishing up almost over a month ago, a little over a month ago, so might be some of their first action in a team setting for a long time. Terrain. The shot is off and it now stay with Team Black on the baseline. Adebayo is also back into the game. Adebayo. Nice, gets past his man, Adebayo, right hand finish for Ade Adebayo. Sharp crossover and Team Black get it as the ball knocks off of the referee. We were talking about Ade Adebayo before and that handle and the length that he possesses at the guard position allows him to break his man down and get to the front of the basket with such ease. Now Williams. Nice little pass inside to Ray. Very effective inside. He's made some smart, simple movements. Here's Brown bringing up possession. Uses the screen. Brown kicks. Amika and Yako in the corner. For three. The triple. Two point lead now for Team Black. Clock running now. Callan Lowe shakes off his man. To Ray follows it up. And the long, long shot, oh, nearly hits it off the class. Ladies and gentlemen, we're being spoiled with the basketball that is happening here in the first quarter. Who's standing out? Early contenders for MVP, Liam. I've got to look at, I know the, the black team are up, but Niall Harris off the bench for Team White with eight early points. A great, great uh, impact for him. For the black team, they seem to be doing it all. Everybody that's come in, and for both teams, really. I mean, it's difficult. We talked about that early defense where both teams were a little bit more defensive, but you look at the score now, 27-23 at the end of the first. And because of how deep both of these teams are, you have guys coming in that have the energy, have the intensity, that want to show out on a stage like this, that so far is quite difficult to call. We've had one or two for each team that have been really making a difference. Amari Williams for the black, difficult to look past him after that big three, and then straight back down at the other end with the huge block. Well, I'm, I'm really impressed with how Amari Williams has stepped into this game. Um, you know, with someone so young, you, you would expect them to be a little shy, but clearly, you know, his ability and his talent has proved enough for him to be here. 
and, and he's now stepping up and showing us that, yeah, I do deserve to be on this court. Age is nothing but a number in this situation here. So proud of, of what he's put on the floor in this moment in time. Um, and both teams playing some great basketball and the coaches will be now saying, hey, more of this, guys, and, and keep up that defensive intensity. Most definitely. So far, we, like you said, T, we have been spoiled, and I'm really looking forward to another three quarters in this game and a whole other game straight after that. Listen, ladies and gents, tell your friends and family to join us here on the live stream, okay, live around the world on Facebook. Don't forget also the highlights being shown on Free Sports UK. And also don't forget to drop us a message in the chat. Let us know who your MVP contenders are. Let us know who you're feeling today at the Hootsfix All-Star Classic 2018. Make sure you're sharing, liking, and subscribing. Hootsfix, the number one independent British basketball uh, media organization in this country. As we get back underway with Ade Adebayo from Team Black. And what's even better is, I think we've seen everybody on the floor now for both teams. So great to see the coaches really getting behind the spirit of what this game is all about to make sure they all get out on the floor. Katenge. Katenge going through the crowd. Couldn't get the finish that he wanted. Here's Morris now. Morris tries to get the ball behind his back, spills it. And Mike Nyakwa. Gets it up top with Brown. Brown tries to find Hayden in the corner. Couldn't get it to him across will intercept Adebayo driving nice stand from Morris enough to make it a tough shot for Adebayo and Brown will now control possession for Team White Brown stolen away here's Katenge look out Okros driving Okros oh! big pin although the finish is there Jonathan Brown did not give up on the play Brown Pins molten on the glass here at the rough house. Jonathan Brown showing the athleticism. Just a shame there was no one else from his team there to pick up on the, the deflection after the huge block as Morris knocks down the easy two from the elbow. And here's Katenge now to inbound. What a block. What a block. I'm impressed with the defensive highlights so far more than the offensive highlights. Across. That's a He pulls up on the dime. Trying to answer back and get a two to, to get himself back into it a little bit, but he's a heady player. That's not going to affect him too much. Brown with the crossover. Going through the gap. Brown. I won. Give me that. He'll go to the line for the three-point play opportunity. That's the reason why he was EABL MVP. Shout out to Kent Crusaders. Yeah, huge shout out to Kent, uh, Kent Crusaders and Canterbury High School. I think he was the MVP in the Eastern Conference for for Canterbury this season but great year for him all around 17 points 4.5 assists per game in the EABL a great season for him and almost feels a little bit out of nowhere a woman across off the glass and will finish for two 31-27 team black in the league Bedford Bedford into the hands of Morris he's guarded tightly nice through the legs Morris tries to get a go of the glass, rebounded by Adebayo. Adebayo looking up. Sees a defender in front of him. He wants to eat him up. But it's out of bounds as possession is spilled. An end line now for Team White. Can we just talk about the pace of this game as well? It is end to end. Some of these guys out here, 16, 17 years old, phenomenal athletes already. And the speed with which they're getting up and down the floor. It's on a level with, with some of the high D1 level, D2 level NCAA basketball in the state. And that's why so many of these players have scholarships to go out to America in the, in the upper class game later on. Amike Nyakwo now for three. That's tipped away, out of bounds, team black possession. Completely agree with you there, Liam. You know, you see more and more players going over to the States. In fact, uh, myself and Liam have noticed a few college coaches in the building today. And what an event it would be for them to come and witness some of the best in British young talent. Adebayo, Katenge, Katenge, crossover, double team, shakes off his defender, low. Now kicks it out, Elwoman. Fight for possession, low is there, but Brown will collect for Team White. Brown, Eurostep, and the hands are there. 
to put him under pressure and the foul is called. The foul is called on a woman. And substitution now, checking into the game. Number 50, Theo Hughes, checking into the game. Got in foul trouble early on, so had to sit down. But now, hopefully we'll be able to manage his foul count so he can show us what he's made of. Another one of those Barking Abbey guys, Theo Hughes. Had a strong season this year. Brown misses the first. And now this place is rocking. Brixton Rec is full, ladies and gentlemen. The Rough House is popping right now. The music, the crowd getting behind the teams. And they have been treated to some early, early highlights. Adebayo, now with Lowe. Back to Adebayo in the corner, shakes off his man with a jab. Nice hesitation, but can't find Hughes. Brown, Amike Nyakwo, pump fake, gets two feet inside the paint. Hayden now from the free front line, and that's a rebound now for Okros. Okros pushing possession up the floor. Throws it inside to Hughes, but Hayden trails back, tips it away, out of bounds. End line possession. Substitutions now coming into the game. Now Harrison, Pierce Maslin will replace Bedford and Brown. Brown dripping in this atmosphere. It is sweat. hot in here as well in the rough house at the Brixton Rec. A big shout out to Dave Owen who's posted here. You can see uh, player stats and highlights ratings. Click the link. Dave Owen, fantastic work he does in British basketball. But there is Katenge bullying his way to the basket. Can't get the finish to go. He gets where he needs to, but he needs to finish at the rim. Harris. Harris now kicks it out. Maslin, he's got room from way downtown. And there's Katenge with the rebound. Over Niall Harris, his teammate at Jarmo College, two of them battling for that one. Adebayo. Adebayo. Now with Lowe, looking inside to Hughes. Looked to have sealed his man, but Hayden gets around him. Forces the turnover. Substitution now. Louis Norton Cuffey checking in, as well as Patrick Lani Pecun. Now Harris in possession. Harris. Amike Nyakwo. He's got room now for three. He will drill it from behind the three point arc. Ties up the game. 31 apiece. Norton Cuffey. Adebayo. Nice hesitation on the left hand. Keeps it under control. Does find Norton Cuffey. Norton Cuffey, his shot is an air ball, unfortunately. Here's Morris. Morris driving. He goes up strong. Got to go up strong here in the rough house today. Hughes. Lani Pekun. And he opts to try and find a better opportunity. Throws it up, Katenge, with the baby alley-oop off the glass. And now Mike Nyako on the right-hand side. Guarded by Lani Pekun. Harris uses the screen to get open on the left. And now Mike Nyako spills possession and it goes out of bounds. Team Black get it back. And a timeout now called by Team Black. Uh, 33 to 31, four minutes, 23 left to go here in the first half of the Hoops Fix All-Star Classic. Hey guys, don't forget to show us those likes, shares, and also please, please, please comment. Hashtag H-A-S-C-18, let everybody know. We gotta get these viewer ratings up. Everybody needs to check out with the other 700 people we've got here, what's happening in the best youth British basketball competition in the country. Liam, hey. Thoughts before that timeout. Players starting to kind of settle into the game now. The energy starting to die down a little as they now start to play some smarter basketball. Most definitely. And I think you're going to have that initial uh, kind of energy and surge of energy of excitement appearing on this platform. And big performances across the board from some of these players. I mean, I've been most impressed in this second, second quarter with Jonathan Brown. He's been at both ends of the floor, a real physical, athletic presence at that guard spot he can really create his own shot but then defensively 
He's uh, really been locking down. And that huge block that we had, that's for sure going to be the first highlight of what will, I'm sure, be a lot across the day. So, so far, this one's Jonathan Brown's quarter, but still a long way to go. And great to see that it's still competitive in this game. Only two points in it. Right, and we are back underway. Team Black in possession. Norton Cuffey now breaking the press. Lanny Pekun gets it to Adebayo. Back up top, Norton Cuffey. Finds Adebayo. Cuffey goes through. Back screen for Hughes. And Katenge, he'll line up the three-point shot. Great to see Hosanna Katenge taking that shot, though, for his own development and where he needs to get to as a player. If he can start knocking down that free ball consistently, it's really going to unlock the rest of his game. So don't forget, Live Stats is around. Unfortunately, we do have limited um, Wi-Fi connectivity here, so it is a little bit difficult to find out the stats. But at halftime, we will definitely get the stats up for you. And a shot clock violation right now. Shot clock violation in an All-Star Classic. The defense is definitely winning out over the offense. Substitution now checking into the game. Number 15, Jamie Gray will check in. And Hayden will head to the bench. We talk about defense as well. I think it was 27-25 at the end of the first quarter. It's only 33-31 now. So both teams seem to have not been able to take the lid off the basket in the second quarter. Adebayo guarded by Harris. Bounce pass inside to Theo Hughes. He works against his man. Hughes with the reverse layup. Nice work to use the basket as protection against Powell. And now here's Harris. Jamie Gray. Gray up strong. Harris tips it to Powell. Powell finish. And now here's Norton Cuffey. Cuffey finds Adebayo on the left wing. Lani Pekun was calling for the alley-oop on the far side, but Adebayo will drive. Hesitation on that, holds it high, pumps the shot, gets it to go. Great to see some of Adi Adebayo's barking Abbey teammates, Sean Nilo Nilo and Caleb Fuller on the, on the baseline, hyping up their teammate as he gets the tough finish to go. Harris again for two. He's got 10 points personal. Norton Cuffey. Now with Adebayo. Adebayo. Back with Katenge. Down low, Hughes. Hughes, one on one. His teammate, Powell. Shots off, Eze. Maslin with the pass fake. Can't get the shot to go. Out of bounds. Team Black possession. Substitution checking in now. Let's talk about that hustle from Veron Easy though. The ball was flying out of bounds and he dived out of bounds to try and keep it in. This is a classic. This is a summer exhibition game and he's showing that sort of dedication to dive out of bounds and try and save the ball. Love that from the young man. Timeout now called. Um, two minutes. Two seconds left to go. 37 to 35. Two points in it. And ladies and gentlemen, you can see why, because these two teams are going at it. As mentioned, we will try and get some uh, live stats for you as soon as we know. Uh, and we've noticed that you're mentioning that in the comments. We will let you know as soon as possible. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, like, share, tell everybody to get involved. Hit hashtag HASC18. Um, we'll also be showing these highlights live on Tuesday on Free Sports UK. Big shout out to Moulton, a huge sponsor for this event. Without your support, this event would not be possible. Also, livebasketball.tv, the only place to watch live British Basketball League action all season long, every single game. And for all the Hoops Fix fans, you are going to get yourself one month free with the coach HASC 2018. So make sure you use that promotion code to get yourself a free month. Um, and also, FIBA World Cup qualifiers will be shown on livebasketball.tv. So you pick, we roll. Uh, make sure you check in live basketball TV for all in British basketball and also basketball from around the world. So now teams coming back onto the floor. Don't forget, coming up later, we've got the dunk contest after this one. Following the dunk contest, we had the class of 2018. Um, and, and that game will also be one to remember. 
Really so, looking forward to that game. Really looking forward to it. Definitely. And it, again, we talked about it before. So much talent on the floor in both games. 48 young players that demonstrate the best and brightest of the talent in this country. So, yeah, things can only get better for us today, T. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. I'm thrilled here to, and excited to be here, just as you are, Liam. You know, walking up to the, to the Brixton Rec, smelling the food in the air, seeing everything that, that, that represents Brixton diversity, culture, and it, it's, it's just set up for an amazing day. And the sun is shining bright. Although we're in the wreck, we can still see some of the light coming through for the far end of the arena. And here's Eze now, Team White in possession, Maslin. Powell. Nice hands there from Norton Coffee. Norton Coffee breaking away. Watch out! Left hand layup. He thought about it. Had to have a look over his shoulder. He's gray now. He'll collect gray. And he'll get a second chance for the offense here. Maslin. Eze. Step back. Off the front of the ring. Eze still with it. Now Powell. Powell lines up the mid range. A little off target. Gray will claim it as an assist for Team White. Let's knock that one down as an assist for Nathaniel Delaney Powell. Jamie Gray inside, cleaning up and putting it away. Norton Cuffey put it on the burners again. Speed like lightning. Lightning Louie. And here's Harris, double team. Steps out of bounds. In fact, it was here Hughes who was out of bounds as he touched the ball away from Harris. The possession turnover to Team White. Maslin. Double team on the pick and roll. Tries to find Gray into the basket. Hands from Ture to knock it out of bounds. Substitution now on the young man. Amari Williams checking into the game for number 15, Theo Hughes. I've missed him in the game. And we've not seen him since the first quarter. And a timeout called now by Guy Coles. He's going to draw something up for the boys. Try and give us something special. We talk about Amari Williams as well. We missed him since the first quarter, but there are so many good players on each of these rosters that it's going to be difficult for, for head coach Ian McLeod and Guy Coles at the other end to be able to get everybody in, rotating 11, 12 guys with this much talent. There's no mean feat, and I'm glad it's those guys coaching and not me today. And, and I think it's really important that we, we respect the level of coaching that we do have in, in uh, the, the Hoops Fix All-Star Classic 2018 this year. Um, but it's moments like these where we get to see the coach in prowess. Those little timeouts, 34 seconds left on the clock. Okay, we're going to get a good look here, maybe a two for one where possible. But let's see what Coach Guy Coles uh, draws up here. Also as well, me and you, T, both watched some of the team walkthroughs. So each team had half an hour to just walk through and get some shots up earlier this morning. And it's great to see that the coach is putting in some form of structure to allow the players to be able to showcase what they're good at, but a limited structure so that it's not overpowering. They understand the magnitude of the game. They understand what this game is about to showcase these guys. So they're putting that on to be able to allow them to express themselves and play the way that they want to play. But also four very different coaching styles when we watch those walkthroughs. But let's lock in now to this play. Harris looks to inbound, skips it out to Gray. Gray will attack his man. Morris to Maslin. Maslin one on one with Lanny Peku and gets away from him. Dishes to Gray. Gray! Poster! Count it! Okay, baby! We see you! Two handed on the baseline! Jamie Gray! Oh, yeah! This is what's it all about. Lanny Peku in possession. Lanny Peku. He's looking at what he got for three to beat the buzzer. He's there! Three ball on the buzzer. He's good. And the long pass ahead. Oh, my God. What a way to finish the half. This is Hoops Fix All-Star Classic Basketball, baby. 2018 at the Brixton Rec. Oh, yes, Mr. Liam Jefferson. This is why we love British basketball. My goodness. Jamie Gray out of nowhere. Putting it on. On the big man underneath the basket, Peter Ture. But then at the other end, Patrick Lenny Pekun answering back with the dagger three pointer. This is, as you say to here, this is what we came to see today. 
Oh my word, let's just catch our breath a second. I did not expect that to come from the play. I mean, the ball moved out well. They had to find Gray out on the safety pass. Gray then uh, had the opportunity to pass and get it back to Maslin. Maslin at the top of the key, crossed over his man, drew the defender. Gray was cutting baseline. The help side was there. The help side was in good position. And Jamie Gray said, listen, hoops fix. I'm here. This is why two-handed. Okay, we see you, big fella. More of that, please. What a way to finish out what is a great first half of basketball here at the Rough House, the Brixton Recreation Center. Phenomenal. Uh, I'm lost for words, Steve. I'm Speechless. Lost for words. It, it, it was a phenomenal half of basketball so early on in this competition. Um, we're going into the halftime break, guys. So still make sure you like and share. Stick with us. We're not going to be um, away for too long, but very quickly, Liam, overall thoughts from what you've seen of all the players here. I think my players of the half, uh, one would be Amari Williams because he's, he's not shied away from the competition. Couple highlights for him. One would be Niall Harris purely for his efficiency and smart play of basketball. Jonathan Brown's in the mix. He's done some, some great stuff. Jamie Gray with that highlight player over here. Um, and, and, and who else have you got uh, making waves so far in this first half? I'd agree with those. I'd probably add Ade Adebayo in there for Team Black from Barking Abbey. I just love the way that he handles the ball and uses his body to be able to get inside into the paint and score through contact and go up and finish through that contact. So I'd throw him there, but I'd, I'd, I'd agree. I think you're probably on the money with Amari Williams for Team Black. Interesting to see how much more he plays in this second half. And then Jonathan Brown and Niall Harris have been the, the ever-present for Team White as they've uh, not carried their team but had the biggest performances so far. But boy, are we in for a phenomenal and a great second half of basketball. We've been waiting for something to lift the mood and to get us going here at the Rough House. And I feel like those last two plays have done exactly that. So what we're trying to do now, guys, is we're going to try and get some stats for you. So give us a couple of minutes to do that. Um, we'll get some stats for you and we'll update you just before uh, we get back into the action so we know where we're at. Whilst we wait for those live stats, let's talk again about this crowd in here. Because for me, again, it's just, it's great to see so many people want to come out and support the cause, support Hoops Fix, support British basketball. And it's not, it's not a... Uh, it's not, it's not the type of crowd where you could say it's, it's this type of person or it's that type of person. It's young, it's old, there's parents, there's, there's London locals, there's people that have traveled from the opposite end of the country. There's college coaches here from the United States of America. There's just so many different people that are here to support British basketball, to be a part of this, uh, what is a, a great event and a great showpiece for what British basketball is all about. And for me, that's just... It's a great thing to see and I'm really proud to be a part of it as well. Unbelievably proud to be something that uh, highlights the wonders of British basketball as uh, we hopefully get some stats for you now. Okay, so here we go. Uh, for Team Black, leading all scorers with eight points is Ade Adebayo. He's shooting 80% from the field. Uh, that's closely followed by seven points from Peter Ture. Six points apiece also for Mate Okros, the captain, and Amari Williams. Everybody else in the team also chipping in. And four big boards uh, for Theo Hughes, and that's on uh, Team Black. And, um, and for Team White, uh, the stats at this moment in time, leading all scorers with uh, eight points is uh, Niall Harris um, on the points there. Also eight points for uh, Arinze, Amike, and Yakwo. Great wait, wait, wait from him in the first half. And another eight points for Jamie Gray, including that big two-handed slam. And also six rebounds for Jamie Gray. That's huge. Six rebounds in the first half with the amount of minutes he's had. He's only had nine minutes, 40 seconds, eight points, six rebounds. Great half of basketball from him. Almost a sneaky performance from him as well. If we wouldn't have seen that dunk, we probably wouldn't have thought about him little, like as much as we're probably talking about now. But... Great performance on a, on the on the quiet almost from Jamie Gray. Out here just doing work on the glass and three of those six rebounds on the offensive end. So really showing his size and that length to be able to corral the offensive boards. Okay now guys, we're gonna take a little bit of a break. 
And uh, we're going to get back to you very shortly in three minutes' time. Um, I'm Ty Hadger, this is Liam Jefferson. Make sure you tell your friends and family to join us. Hoops Vic on Facebook, the live stream. We're ready to come back to you in two or three minutes' time. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're getting ready now for the second half of the underclassmen game 2018 here at the Hoops Fix All-Star event. It's been an unbelievable first half of basketball. Believe me, you are going to see some great highlights coming from just this first half. These players are, hold, are not holding back at all. They are going at it. And, and, and it is a spectacle to watch. Please share, like, subscribe at HootsFix. Big shout out to our sponsors, Molten Basketball. Thank you very much for your support. LiveBasketball.tv, University of East London, London's leading basketball university. Sports Serve, Hardwood Ventures, Basketball Hall of Fame, Belfast. That's an NCAA talent tournament coming up. Make sure you get involved in that. Five or six. Uh, let me play basketball love bro always balling and Wilkie TV also shout out to Stan Socks and, and Jeff the, the, the kit providers um, and ladies once, ladies and gentlemen once again don't forget you can also win yourself some big prizes hashtag H-A-S-C-18 use the hashtag tweet about it let everybody know where you are you enter yourself into the grand prize draw to win a big hoop huge haul of hoops fix gear and maybe some stand socks and molten basketballs, etc. But now Liam uh, Jefferson and myself, Ty Hajat, we're here for you with the second half of the Hoopswix All Star Classic 2018 underclassmen competition, 44 to 39. I believe it's Team Black that are in the lead. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hats as we get ready to get underway. Both teams back to their starting five as well. As we were talking about earlier, those two head coaches really using all of their rosters early on. And when you look at the stats and you look at the minutes that some of these guys have played, everything's between that seven and 12 minute mark, which is great to see as well. And a little cleaning up being done by the referee. <laughs> Clearing some sweat off the floor because that's what it is right now. Blood, sweat and tears here in Brixton. And now sideline possession. Jonathan Brown to get us underway for Team White. As soon as we can remove the moisture off the floor. And now we're ready to go. Here we go, ladies and gents. Hopefully another roller coaster ride for another 20 minutes of basketball here. Amike and Yakwo. Lofts it inside to Hayden. That's stolen away now by Okros. Okros on his right hand gets it to Katenge. Katenge driving. Nice hands underneath the basket from Brown. Oh, in and out oh. dribble. Behind the back. To the corner. Bedford driving. Bedford goes up and goes under for the dime. Can't get it to go. Adebayo to Low, Low driving, skips it across to the corner. Across now for three. Hughes with the rebound. Left hand finish for Hughes. I was hoping he was going to slam that one home off the rebound. Theo Hughes going with the safe bet and putting it back in with his left hand. Brown. Emike Nyakwo lets it go from three point territory. Rebounded by Kitenge now. Keep those comments coming in, ladies and gentlemen. We want to know your thoughts of what's going down here. Adebayo now wide open for three. Off the front of the ring. And rebounded by Amike Nyakwo. Now Brown pushing ball up the floor. Onto his left hand. Brown driving, holding it tight. And he gets that one to go high off the glass. Through a lot of contact as well, showing that athleticism. Adebayo now trying to do the same. Stolen away. Robin Bedford in possession. Bedford, Eurostep. Can keep it under control. Powell with the tip. Rising high. Getting the tip to go. Great activity from the big man from Barkin Abbey to get the tip. Across. Hughes. Now with Low. Low lets his shot go. A fight for the rebound. Across now onto his left hand. Kitenge tips it up high. 
Scramble under the basket. Delaney Powell gets his hands to it. Gatenge knocks it away. And now end line possession for Team White. And Brown will inbound. Big shout out to the, the DJ in the building today, keeping everyone hyped up. Bedford. Brown. Brown from way downtown. Oh, yeah. Knocks down the triple. And here's Adebayo. Ties up the game, 46 apiece. Team White coming out strong. Hughes now for three. Brown gets his hand to it and a foul is called. Brown rising up nice and high and a pushing foul called. This time on number one, Adebayo. I don't know about you, T, but it feels to me like ever so slightly the energy and intensity is back at where it was at the start of the, uh, the first quarter because these teams now understand that they are only 20 minutes away from either, or 27, uh, 17 minutes away, sorry, from either winning or losing this game in this showpiece final. Brown with the crossover now. Keeps in his possession, Powell. Hayden. Hayden finds Amike Nyakwo. Nice hands from Adebayo. Brown again, nice pump fake, see ya. But the shot clock will sound. He's got to let that first one go. He's got to know. But again, that's why it's so difficult to see the shot clocks in here. But Jonathan Brown had the great catch and shoot opportunity. He just decided to take that one too many dribble. And the shot clock expiring. Adebayo trying to shake off Brown. Adebayo driving. And the foul is called. He cocked it back like he was ready to throw down. And the foul is called on number seven. Bedford, apologies not, but yeah, it is Bedford, number seven, called for the foul. Second personal. Adebayo knocks down the first. And I know I've talked about this guy quite a lot already today, but those eight points in the first quarter, going four for five from the field. I just love the way this guy plays. Now Team White in possession, Amike Nyakwo. Bedford, in and out dribble onto his right hand. The foul is called. Not scared to go into those big guys. Doesn't fear the contact and has enough air time to hold onto possession before he can let a shot off. I've been really impressed by everybody today. They're just their ability to, or their desire to want to get to the basket to score. Uh, Bedford showing it there, but uh, it's not really anyone today that I've said looked a little bit timid in their in their penetration to the basket or in their drive to the basket everyone making good decisions across now with Kitenge onto his left hand spins turn Kitenge ball knocked away from his possession but there's low Adebayo strong onto his right hand kicks it out Hughes with a foot on the line and a foul is called Foul is called off the ball, and number 12, Amike Nyakwo. And a little bit of talk there between Amike Nyakwo and Hosanna Kitenge. They just exchanged a couple of words. I'm sure it was friendly enough. Hey, I don't mind trash talking when it comes to games like this. These guys are out here trying to prove who the best is. And if trash talking comes along with that, as long as it's nice and calm, you know, I like that. Here's Brown, Sauce, driving, blocked by Hughes. Theo Hughes said no. The big man from Barking Abbey. And changes being rang in now. Five for five. Maslin Harris, Morris, Price, and Eze check into the game. As all five Team White players head to the bench. Changing it up now. Uh, also, Ture checking into the game for Team Black. Eze. Harris. Onto his right hand, Harris. He gets a second chance and will get that one to go. Across. Across. Dips it inside, Torre. Nice contest from Price, he can't finish. 
LJ Morris now pushing away in possession. Morris, Eurostep, floated up high, gets his own rebound, and the foul is called. LJ Morris going to the Eurostep as he tried to finish, but way to stay with the play as well to get his own rebound. He had the presence of mind to go straight back up. Because he didn't get the make as he was fouled, but he's going to go to the line and shoot too. You're right. Could have easily gave up. Substitutions now coming in. Young Amari Williams, Norton Cuffey checking into the game. And Morris from that Governor's Academy in the USA back on UK soil in part to play in the Hoops Fix Classic. And that for me shows that level of dedication from some of these players to want to play in games like this and games of this magnitude. And to compete against their peers as well, which they don't they don't get to do that often. Norton Cuffey. 48-49 is the score. Team White in the lead. Norton Cuffey with a pump fake. Now tries to find Low. Low will look after it. Calling for the screen. Calling Amari Williams over. Amari Williams fakes the screen, slips through the gap, and the foul is called. Number 21, Eze. And John Letizia, uh, the referee here, keeping his referees in order, telling him, hey, you guys need to rotate your position right now. As Mate Okros gets it into Norton Cuffey. Cuffey now pulls up. Tough ass with LJ Morris in his face. Maslin, he can't find LJ Morris now. Sideline possession for Team Black. A little bit of fatigue setting in here. Few turnovers. Interestingly, first half, Team Black only had four turnovers. Team White had 12. And now here's Williams, steps back for three. Can't hit the target, rebounded by Harris. Harris pushing the ball forward. Eze looks inside, Price with the two-handed slam. Ethan Price out of Copleston Academy, Ipswich basketball. And uh, Ipswich under 16 with the two-handed jam. And a substitution now coming into the game. Lani Pekun, number 10, Hughes, check into the game. Matthew Hughes from Itchen College, Solent Kestrels. And here's now, now Harris. Now Harris uses LJ Morris's screen, looks inside, tries to find the gap, but Hits the foot of Ture. And for the double team, Harris will inbound from the sideline. Gets it to Price. Price slips away from his possession. And you're right, a huge contrast in these turnovers now between how it was in the first half. Price definitely saw EJ Morris under the basket as well and just tried to get it to him, which no doubt would have been a highlight dunk, but just lost the handle at the last moment. Norton Cuffey, cross on to his left hand. And now Lani Pekun tries to find Matthew Hughes, stolen away by LJ Morris. Here's the fast break. Price, pump fake, slips a little. But now here's Harris for three. Harris knocks it down. Recovery there. Harris now with the interception. And there's a whistle. And a timeout was called after the three-point shot made by Harris. They want to talk it over. 48 to 54. Team White coming out of the second half break. Fighting. Ready to play. Four minutes, six seconds on the clock. We're still enjoying ourselves here. Now Harris stepping up in those moments. I don't want to talk about him too much because he was one of my players this year. I don't want to be sounding biased, but a young man makes plays and he stays steady. He never really cracks a smile. He never really gets angry, but you know exactly what you're getting from him. So great to see the young man performing on such a stage. And it has been a phenomenal season for him. NBL Division Three North Player of the Year and also made that Harris Memorial Tournament All-Star Five. Playing with Charmwood basketball. Teams now making their way back onto the floor. And it's an end line possession now for Team Black. Coaches just remind them of the intensity and level of the game that they're playing at. 
Well, hopefully that will improve the overall performance here in the third quarter. Louis Norton Cuffey. Lani Pakun sprinting through the paint. Now Matthew Hughes on the right wing. Then an Eze putting him under pressure. Skips it across now. Lani Pakun. Guarded by Bedford. Shot clock winding down. Lani Pakun has to let it go. Has to find a shot and the foul is called. It's guarded by Maslin, apologies. And Maslin is called for the foul. I think I'm right in saying as well, 54 to, to 48 is the biggest lead of the game. Yep, six definitely. points for the for Team White. Definitely is the, the, the biggest lead of the game. And now Lenny Peku. Hughes to Ray. Matthew Hughes with the spin. And a foul is called. A lot of contact from EJ Morris as he reached across the body. Two shots. Two shots to come now. Hughes will get to the line. Three minutes, 37 left to go. Matthew Hughes knocks down the first. Don't forget, coming up, guys, after this game will be the dunk contest. And I think we've just about got our contestants together. Also got a great judging panel featuring Amin Adamu, the 2016 Hoops Fix All-Star Classic dunk champion, and also the Royal Guard, Joel Henry, as Harris drives. Somehow gets it back and will get the, the basket to go for two. Lani Peku. Crossing up. Plenty of dribbles inside to Ray. Nice playmaking from Lani Pekun. Two feet in a pay. Harris long pass. Price again. Oh, this time bounces off the back of the ring. Norton Cuffey skips it across Lani Pekun. He'll light it up from downtown. Lani Pekun for three. And just like that. And there's the steal. Watch out. Lani Pekun. Norton Cuffey is up there for the rebound. I was about to say, just like that, that six point lead trimmed to one. Harris floats it up, no good. This time, nice hands, tips it away from Norton Cuffey. End line possession, Team Black substitution now uh, for Williams as uh, Ketenge. And Matthew, Ho Matthew Hughes heads to the bench as a woman checks into the game. And the basketball just opening up ever so slightly in those last few possessions as both teams put their foot on the gas. Norton Cuffey. He steps back, pulls up. Rebound by Katenge. He's under pressure. Katenge, a bully under that hoop. No finish for him, though. Substitution now coming in for Team White. Delaney Powell checking into the game. Help improve the matchups here. As, as uh, Price, what a... Nice big dunk in the in the quarter. Katenge. Knocked away by a woman. Sorry, Eze knocked that away. As a, a woman tried to contest him for that one. Katenge now will inbound from the baseline. Out of bounds. Stays with Team Black. 55 to 56. Team Black coming back into the game. A woman, got it by Eze, a woman driving baseline. The shot has to beat the buzzer, does so. Tere inside, and a foul is called as Jamie Gray rises up to get a hand to it. So much contact under the basket, everyone looking to get a block, everyone looking to get a touch on the ball. No easy looks, no easy looks. You have to prove you are the best through the contact here. Torre on the line, misses the first. Remember, we'll hopefully update you at the end of each court with the stats uh, from the team. But Harris now, another long pass. This time, Louis Norton Cuffey gets in front and reads the play. But now here's a woman. Yora Step gets the unfriendly roll, so rolls out of play. Harris now pushing forward again. Eze, Eze, up and under! Veron Eze showing off his athleticism. 
tough finish by the young man as well. He went up like he was going to dunk it. The defender came across. He managed to adjust his body midair and get that upper and under finish. Showing off some of that Italian flair playing his uh, club basketball over in Italy this season. Following the footsteps of similar players like uh, Carl Wietel, who, who did a similar uh, situation. And it's worked out really, really well for him. He's been a fantastic player, part of the GB national program. And here's Lowe. Lowe skips to the corner. Three ball. A little bit too much power on that one from Louis Norton Cuffey. Bedford put under pressure by him straight away. Guard against guard. These guys going at it right now. Guard against guard. Bedford says see ya and referee blows his whistle as the foul is called. Foul call on Louis Norton Cuffey. Come on ref. Come on ref, you gotta let that one go. We had a highlight play almost under the basket. You gotta let that call go. Referee's keeping up the standards here. Referee, big smile on his face. He knows it. Bedford tries to find Powell. I think he was getting stick from everybody there. The crowd were upset. The MCs in the building were upset. End line possession now. White get it in. Brown. To beat the buzzer, has to let it go. And a shot clock violation called. Sideline possession for Team Black. And now we have confirmed our dunk contestants which is looking real, real nice. So we'll let you know in the third quarter break. So stick around between the third quarter break. We'll let you know who the judges and the dunk contestant will be. Torre now, using his body, goes up second chance. Katenge gets his hand to it. Katenge going up strong, I won. Yes, big fella. Shake the man off, looks as a defender in the eye and says, no mate, you can't do that round here, son. And now Katenge on the line. Not sure where Hosanna Katenge is supposed to be from there. <laughs> it doesn't matter as long as he gives it the same vigor as I just did then. Norton Cuffey rising up amongst the big boys, tips it in for two. Great. Now with Bedford. Bedford uses gray screen. Gray was calling for the ball. But now Mike Nyakwo's got room off the front of the ring. Can't get it to go. Katenge tries to save that one. Powell, the foul is called. No basket. Referees are shot today. Foul is called the number 24, Ture. Two shots to come now for Powell. Listen, the way this place is packing up. Maybe you guys can't see behind us, but it is stacked up right now. It's standing room only. You cannot get a seat anywhere in the house, in the rough house at the Brixton Wreck. Powell knocks down the first. And to add to that, 168 of you watching live online right now. I think we can get that a little higher, guys. I think we can get that a little higher too. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that share. Spread this as far and wide if you're not already here in Brixton and you're watching with us online. Let's get it as far and wide as possible. Katenge, uh-oh, one-on-one against Powell. Katenge, oh, nice pump fake, hands off. Oh, and something special was, was in the works. Tere was ready to replicate Jamie Gray's dunk. Those two going at it again. Jamie Gray getting called for the foul, but Tere was saying, I'm coming back after you. You got me in the first half, I'm coming after you. Yeah, look Jamie into Gray just getting a hand. <laughs> To it. Looking to wreck the rims at the Brixton wreck. Yes. Please don't wreck the rims. That means the, the competition's over. What would we do then? I don't think we've got backup baskets, have we? I think that's our first dad joke of the day as well. we got to get those <laughs> first, ones out of the way. First dad joke of the day. <laughs> I'll take it. Teray now knocks down a second. Amike Nyakwo. Clock winding now, final eight seconds. Callan Low, Callan Low with an easy lay in for two. With the steal, Bedford, left hand, throws it up. Can't beat the buzzer, doesn't drop. 63 to 60, ladies and gents. What a game of basketball we still have on our hands. Hoops, fix, all-star classic 
2018 as we enter into the third quarter break. We bring some exciting news for you guys, um, for the dunk contestants coming in. And who we got coming in here, Mr. Jefferson? Yeah, contestants-wise, a great field of six. Jordan Reese, george Jonathan Brown, Vernon Eze, both who we've seen in this game. Caleb Fuller, Leighton Elliott Sewell, and Carl and Tifo. And the format for that dunk contest is that they're all going to have a minute for two dunks back to back with the highest scoring pair then going through to a dunk off in the final. And what a panel of judges we have for that as well. Amin Adamu, who won the 2016 version. Joel Henry, who's obviously a dunker with, um, with Team Elite, I believe it is. Uh, yeah, it was Dunk, Dunk Elite. Dunk Elite. With Dunk Elite. Then Dan Clark, Luke Nelson, both Team GB players. Hey, playing and in BBL some of the top, player, top leagues in the world. Without a doubt. And then BBL player Teo Ogendengbe also joining. So what a field of contestants for that dunk contest but what a field of judges i paid good money to watch those judges have a dunk off as well <laughs> tell me about it but really importantly who's your money on that one because i've seen some highlights for jordan reese jordan this year i've also seen caleb fuller get up in the eabl final i've seen uh, uh, also jonathan brown show off his athleticism today he's going to be a little bit tired after the game as well so who's your money on another dunk contest Really not sure. It comes down to, yes, who can, who can dunk that ball home hard, but who's going to show the creativity? Who maybe has worked on something in previous practices where their coach has been telling them, no, work on the fundamentals, and they're out there working on their dunk. So I'm going to go with a sneaky pick. I'm going to go maybe maybe Caleb Fuller or Leighton Elliott Sewell. I feel okay, like Leighton okay. Elliott Sewell, the Derby Trailblazer, uh, maybe he has something in the locker. I've seen him put some highlight plays out there in the EABL this year, dunking all over people. So my money's going to go on one of those two. All right, now, guys, let's get back to this action here. And the Hoops Resource All Star Classic is Jonathan Brown. He's got some room. Oh, my God. He rose up a little too high. Oh, my goodness. He, he's giving us some previews. Previews for the dunk contest. Oh, man. Oh, my, oh, my. There's been a... Been a couple of plays like that today. Simon Ozan and the MCs on the court. Me and Tahiro out of our seats. We thought we were going to get something special there from Jonathan Brown. Can I take back my dunk prediction? <laughs> Can I redo it? No, no, you can't yet. Wow, he showed us there. We did discuss it, but he proved that he's going to be ready and in fighting fit shape for it. I'm um, unable to hit the free throws though, as Hayden will get the rebound. Delaney Powell now will shoot for two over Theo Hughes. Now Norton Cuffey hands it off now to Hazana Katenge. He sizes up Powell. Jonathan Brown trying to sneak in behind him. A woman will finish for two. Great defensive pressure there from Team Black, but Team White will get it over the half. Amika Nyakwo and a travel violation call. The pressure put on by a woman. And a substitution comes in now. Norton Coffee heads to the bench. Ade Adebayo checks back in. And Adebayo and Bedford, two Balkan Abbey teammates going at it a little bit. Robin Bedford definitely knowing his game inside that, out. I think that's been great today. Even though some players have been on the same team as one another, they won't. They won't go easy on each other. They're still trying to make a name for themselves until they're on the same roster next year. We've Adebayo, left hand now. Oh, a woman almost comes up for the follow-up. Katenge, the foul is called. He's just so big. So when he gets into the paint, people just bounce off him. As the foul is called on number 12, Amika Nyakwo. He's got to read that a little bit better, though. He was in his shooting motion. And he got bumped, but then passed it off at the last minute. Put that one up, maybe get a bucket. You're definitely going to the line if not, but it's a baseline inbounds instead. So once again, guys, don't forget to let us know your comments. We want to hear what you've got to say about the games. Look, we're coming up now to the point where MVP may need to be decided. So who have you got for MVP? Let us know in the Facebook comments below. We want to know who you've got. Is it one highlight reel that does it for you? Is it the whole game performance that does it for you? We want to know. Big shout out to our sponsors. Uh, Molten Basketball, thank you very much for your support. Continually 
supporting us here at the Who's Fix All Star Classic Live Basketball Talk TV, University of East London, Sports Serve, Hardwood Ventures, Basketball Hall of Fame Belfast, an amazing tournament over in Belfast, NCAA talent clashing right there. Five or six, let me play love, bro. All is always balling and Wilkie TV. Thanks for your support, guys. The ball is back into play. And a bio now finds Ketenge. Ketenge floats it up to Theo Hughes, who drives baseline. Big boy moves, Theo Hughes. And that's out of bounds. Stays with the T Black. And uh, the MVPs folks are coming in. Keep him coming. Harris has got two already. Big shout out to Pops Mensa Bonsu watching. Shout out to you, Pops. Thank you very much for your support. The basket is good for two now. 67 to 63. And Team Black are putting on some unbelievable pressure right here. Feeling we've got an eight second call. No. Delaney Powell. Amike Nyakwo down low. Hayden. Hayden throws it up. Rebounded by a woman. Skipped across by low and misread by Katenge. I think Hosanna Katenge driving in, looking for the lob on that. And now to inbound. Bedford gets it to Hayden. Amike Nyakwo looks to shoot, but then sharp pass inside to Delaney Powell. He's a little too sharp. Goes out of bounds, Team Black possession. Seven minutes, 55 left to go. These teams now getting back into what we saw in the walkthrough from the coaches, isn't it? They're executing sets. They're running screens. They're coming off screens. All cross moving driving. the ball around. That's what happens in clutch time. Hey, so I've got to make a little bit of a... I've made a couple mistakes. I keep saying Delaney Powell because I know Delaney Powell has a play, but it's not Delaney Powell. It's Nathaniel Powell that's playing. Shout out to you, Delaney. Apologies for that. I mean, you guys hey, got a similar game, you know, similar name. What do you expect? As Theo Hughes goes up strong for the and one. He'll now head to the three-point line. Shout out to Carl Wheatle also. Seven minutes, 31 left in the game, Carl. Hughes now on the line to complete the three-point play. And uh, Hayden will come up with the rebound there. Oh, stolen away by Lowe. Hands it off, Ketenge. Ketenge, that one! Get off me! Get me to the line! Three-point play up for grabs. The big man, Hosanna Ketenge, showing that strength inside to finish through the contact. And that's what he has been doing all game long. And uh, timeout now called by head coach Guy Coles. He wants to talk it over. Team Black getting away now from Team White. There's plenty of time left in the game. So it's going to make for an interesting seven minutes and 26 seconds. If Team White can get themselves going again, bring it a little closer. We like close finishes. That is what makes basketball exciting. More importantly, there is never, ever a draw. Long, long way to go. And let's not remember, it's only a few minutes ago, Team White were up by six. So it's been a big run by Team Black. But basketball is a game of runs. So what can Team White counter with now that Team Black have gone up by eight? I'm really looking forward to seeing. Hey, guys, once again, keep those comments coming in. Like, share, subscribe at Fix. But don't forget, coming up soon um, is the dunk contest straight after this one. And then at 4 p.m., hopefully, we'll be uh, witnessing the class of 2018 big fixture. Uh, that's got some real big hitters in that one. Guys coming in from overseas, guys coming in from the States, some of the best in British basketball talent um, competing in that one. Also, you can enter yourself into the big grand prize. All you need to do is tweet using the hashtag HASC18 and you enter yourself into that prize. Loads of hoops, fix goodies, molten basketball, stance socks, um, up for grabs. So make sure, ladies and gents, uh, you get tweeting away. Let everybody know you're watching the best of British basketball here at the Rough House in Brixton. 
sold out crowd, 700 people watching the best of British talent. Katenge can't get the three point play to go. And now it is a team white possession. Brown hits the wall. Tough players diving on the floor. Delaney Powell goes for the Euro step and a foul is called. Theo Hughes looking in bemusement. The foul is called on Ocross. His first personal. Powell knocks down the first. Doesn't get the second, second's rebounded by Ocross. Ocross pushing possession up the floor now. Crosses it over to his left, there's Brown, gets a hand to it now, enough for Hayden to get two onto it. Brown slows himself up, controlling possession now for Team White. Big possession for Team White here. Crossover, see you Ocross, hands it off. Powell, mid-range, can't get it to go. That deserved better. Low, driving, Bedford, Gets up there, but draws some contact. The foul is called on Bedford. And substitution now for Team White, number six. Now Harris checking into the game for number 31, LJ Morris. Morris just looking like he came up a little bit hobbled after the body diving on the floor, which is great to see. You never want to see someone coming up out of that with an injury or looking hurt as he just hobbles off ever so slightly. So we hope he's all good. But the commitment cannot be questioned from these two teams. Low. Kong in the second free throw to go. And now here's Bedford sprinting away. Bedford, he'll go all the way. Oh, no. No, no, no. Not today, young fella. This is Adebayo's paint. Throws it up. Katenge. Hughes. And there's Hayden. Bedford back with it. Bounces off his legs. Can he keep it in play? Yes, he does. Everyone's diving on the ball out of bounds. In fact, a jump ball called. Arrow possession. I, I would actually like to see a jump ball. I don't want to see arrow possession. I want to see two guys jump for this ball. How, how, how can Addy Adebayo do his teammate Robin Bedford like that? How can he do him like that? He that was, went up and pinned him. That was so mean. So, so mean. But now you can see the hustle. 72, 64, six minutes, 27 left to go. Every possession counts now as a substitution now for Jonathan Brown, who's had a fantastic game. Veron Eze checks into the game. Brown really holding his accolades high this year and really has shown that he's capable of, of proving that here. And now it's sideline for Team White. After the scrum that was on the floor. Eze. Stolen away now. Adebayo getting his hands to it. Ocross will control possession for Team Black. Ketenge finds Adebayo. Exploding to the basket and a travel violation called. <laughs> but it was a nice pass at the end of that movement. End Turnover. line possession. Team White. Turnover is really creeping in for Team White. Starting to hurt them as well because they're just giving up possessions. And they need to be maximizing these as much as possible as we get into the dying embers of the game. Harris takes one hard dribble, spills possession, but stays with Team White. A nice hand from Ocross as Powell tries to find Eze. Substitution now, Maslin checks into the game for Bedford. Once again, guys, we want to know who your MVP is. Drop it in the comments below. Powell goes up strong. Adebayo. Great double team there from Team White. And Adebayo tries to get in front of Powell with shield possession and the foul is called sideline now for Team White. One thing I have noted is there's no team fouls going up on the board. There's still 0-0 zero, zero on the board and we ain't even had shots. It looks like Team White are in the, the, the bonus, team foul yeah. though. If, you, if we look at, at the table and the team foul bonus counter, so 
interesting to see if they actually actually go with that. I would hope that they would. Maslin. Powell. Hayden going strong onto his right hand. Tough finish and a needed score for Team White to trim that eight point lead to six. Katenge, now Norton Cuffy. Cuffy hands it off Okros. Okros pulls up for three. Callan Lowe tries to sneak behind Hayden and does knock it off of him. Team Black will get possession back. You can't give Mate Okros open looks like that in the corner. He'll start to knock those shots down. Loves the corner free ball for Myersko. Few MVP shouts coming in. Now Harris seems to be the guy that's in in uh, in the name right now. But we want to hear what everybody's thoughts are. So drop your comments in. Let us know who your MVP is. Powell. Now to Harris. Harris, Euro step. Tries to get a second hand to knock it to Eze, but can't get it there. Ocross. Ocross. He'll go strong. And the basket is good. Continuation from the referee. Mate Ocross getting the LeBron Foul James call. rule. Foul call on 30. Muslin. Four minutes 56 left to go. 74 to 66. Team Black in the lead. Let me throw this out there to you, T, as well. Niall Harris getting a lot of love for MVP, but if Team Black win, it's going to be tough to go with an MVP. Well, we've um, just had Ade Adebayo put up for MVP as well, and he's had some huge highlight reels and made some smart plays today I as Harris that. holds possession. I'd probably second that with Ade Adebayo. He's been... Harris gets it off to Eze. Eze now, short corner two. Hayden, rebounded by Okros. Norton Cuffey. Nice hands. Kitenge. Dimes from Norton Cuffey. Harris. Harris pulls up. For three. Niall Harris drills another one. As he puts Team Black a little closer to Team White, Norton Cuffey now steps back. Tries to skip. Stolen away. Maslin. Stolen away. Norton Cuffey. He's all on his own. Norton Cuffey tried to go up with the left handed, showing that the smaller guys can do it too. Almost Nate Robinson S. But now Powell. Powell will go strong. Ooh. And Katenge will meet him, but no one gets the better of each other there. Norton Cuffey. Norton Cuffey. Adebayo up strong, and the foul is called. And the foul is called on number six. Now Harris, two shots to come now. And a time out called by Team White. Three minutes, 39 left to go. 79, 69, 10 point gap, but plenty of time to get back in this one, Liam. End to end basketball. I feel like we just need to take a moment to catch our breath. Team White, I feel like they're trying to chase this one just a little bit too much. Three minutes, 39 left to go in the game. That's a long way. And if they can get a couple of stops and scores and take care of the basketball, they can chip away at this lead. At the moment, though, Team Black not allowing them to. Pesky on defense, looking to trap on any opportunity and then get out and run and get into the basket, as we've just seen from Adi Adebayo. So that's what's forced the timeout from head coach Guy Coles. He'll just be settling them down a little bit in the huddle. But Team Black... They are coming out, taking care of the ball, getting to the rack. And if they can't, getting to the free throw line. It's a really, really interesting finish to the game. Coach McLeod keeping Team Black in check, making sure they're not playing too frantic. They're not trying to do too much and maintain that lead. Bring home the W, as coaches will always hope to do. A few of the... Uh, Class of 2018 guys on the baseline were just giving Hosanna Katenge some uh, few choice words for, for not dunking home that possession that he had just before when he could have had the dunk in transition but turned it down for a layup. Safe bet with the two points. Let's just get the dub and get out. I feel like that's a, a coach's play there. Coach will always want you to put that up. Maybe he wants to stay in the game. If I try to dunk this and I miss, then coach will take me out. So maybe just get the easy two and... And, and, and stop Tahir and Liam from screaming down the microphone as we have been so many times. 
Eze, double team. Maslin, defensive pressure from Team Black. Maslin onto his left hand, uses the screen from Price. Gray is down low, calling for possession. Gray, mid-range, fade away. Now Gray has been a silent assassin in this game. Without a doubt. Coming up big with, I think, around 12 points now. And big on the boards as well, the Myersco College product. And a buyer faces up Harris, gets it to Katenge. Katenge fakes the handoff, but goes for the pass to Callan Low. And that's a read by a woman. The foul is called on the baseline. The foul is called for number 15. And a fifth and final foul on Jamie Gray. We won't see him now for the rest of the competition. But listen, nobody can take away from him the highlight reel he gave us in the first half. Hey, you've got to show appreciation to Jamie Gray. He threw it down on that baseline dunk. So great job, Jamie Gray. Official shout out to you, young sir. But five fouls, you out the game. And now Team Black on the free throw line. And one one uh, knocks that down. So two minutes and 51 seconds left to go. We're seeing lots of MVP votes come in. Keep them coming in. We want to know. Hoops Fix fans, British basketball fans, let us know. And Mike Nyakwo gets it up top to Maslin. Maslin now back onto the wing with a Mike Nyakwo. Looking inside, Eze seals it. Lewis, sorry, Louis Norton Cuffey, and a substitution now coming into the game. Jonathan Brown comes back. Another chance to see him in action. But don't forget, he's also coming up in the dunk contest. I tell you what, Liam, we're almost surrounded now by people of how many people are in this gym. Norton Cuffey, Kitenge, off of Kitenge. Team White get it back. We need some big plays now from Team White on the defensive and offensive end. They need to make this happen to get back into the game. Harris shakes off Norton Cuffey, hobbling. Not nice to see a player go down. Rolls his ankle. And a substitution for Louis Norton Cuffey. And substitution and uh, we've got our official our official K Parker our sports therapist for today shout out to UK a lot of now Harris votes coming in for the MVP couple Matt Hughes votes Ade Adebayo Louis also got a vote. Jonathan Brown as Azana Katenge. Keep them coming in. We want to know your thoughts. Also, don't forget, you can enter yourself into the grand prize draw. Hashtag HASC18. Make sure you tweet. Let everybody know where you can find the live stream. And now we get ready to get back to the action. Jonathan Brown puts it in. Harris. Brown. Brown steps back. A lot of height on that shot. As a one man's under pressure. No look pass to Callan Lowe. Callan Lowe, he'll go up strong. Lowe, second chance. Hughes off of the backboard. Eze, Eze now splits the defenders. Hands it off to Brown. Brown with the pump fake. Harris, wide open. Bounces off the front of the ring and rebounded by Okros. A woman driving. Takes the contact, doesn't get it to go. Harris in possession. Now finds Eze. Eze down low. Price. 
Price with a soft pass up. Now Adebayo, watch uh -oh. out. Look out, everybody. Adebayo goes with the layup. Guys, teasing us. You Come on now. I think he got a flat. I think he got a flat. <laughs> Adebayo looked like he was going to go up to, to bang Brown that one home. With a crossover, shakes off his man. I did think he was going to give us something special, but it must be a little tired right now. Adebayo going strong again this time. Nice movement of the ball to get the finish to go. Good question, Zion. We will find out uh, the live stats at the end of the game. As, as quick as we can remember, we're having some uh, web issues with the live stats. So as soon as we know, you guys will know too. And Brown can't keep that in play. 41.9 seconds to go. You can't help but think Team Black have seen the deal. 85 to 71, but it won't take away and reflect the contest that these two teams have had. As Adebayo controls possession, crossover, kicks, low, nice pass to Hughes. Hughes will almost finish, get a second chance. Brown with his hands on it. Foul is called on the floor. Foul called this time. Nah, kick ball, I oh, think that was. Kick, kick ball. ball, yeah, kick ball violation. Now here's Harris. Harris will go to Eze. Eze for three. He doesn't get it. Brown almost with the putback. And Theo Hughes collects the rebound. 17 seconds left on the clock. Clock is winding down. Team Black will slow it up. Adebayo. And they will dribble this one out. Ladies and gentlemen, what a game of basketball we have had. Unbelievable performance from these two teams and the individuals involved. And it has been a great way to open up the Hoops Fix All-Star Classic 2018. We'll get ready for this MVP. Shout out to Team Black. You are the winners. Congratulations, Ian McLeod. Shout out to Guy Coles and Team White. And some huge, huge plays. Watch out for those on Hoops Fix. You know the number one place to find highlight reels, especially of their own competition as we now slowly break down the game and get ready for MVP award and the dunk contest. And the guys now shaking hands as they put everything on the floor today. Great work from both teams. They did not let us down today. They came with the fire. Absolute flames from both teams. And a great showcase as well for British basketball. And I'm sure, without a doubt, that we will see a lot of these guys that have played in today's uh, underclassmen game back again for second, maybe third appearances at the Hoops Fix All-Star Classic when they eventually graduate from their respective uh, colleges and high schools across the country and further abroad as well. So the MV posts are, are coming in thick and fast. Ade Adebayo now, he's up for MVP. Dave Owen says, Adebayo, you got to respect Mr. Owen's opinion. Shown out in the EABL final two, and he knows when the cameras are there. Yes, he does. Uh, Mike I... Bernard also mentioning, hey, it was a good show out for Myersco today. They've done a great job, and what a fantastic uh, academy Myersco is, one of the best in the country. Big shout out to all the academies and all the coaches who've been able to produce such fantastic talent and, and, and give those guys an, an opportunity and a step up for them to be selected here at the Hoops Fix All-Star Classic. Also now Harris is coming up there. But the most recent ones are all coming for Adebayo. As I soon can't as look we further know. past than Adi Adebayo. He's got to be, the, for, for the performance that he put in today, the ability to, to get up and down the floor. I and mean, we're waiting to find out what, what the stat line is for, for everybody. But the way he can get up and down the floor, the way he can attack the basket, get to the front of the rim, almost at will body for, take through that contact take hits still get up and finish and then the length that he has on someone defensively to be able to disrupt both their dribble their handles their shot he's just showed it all today i think i agree with uh, those people that are saying adi adebayo in big games he just seems to show up he did it in the abl final he's done it again today i think he's got to be the big shout out so now it's getting time for the mvp award so hold on tight, fellas and ladies out there. 
as the teams are being summoned onto the floor. Players stepping out on the floor, trying to stand up so I can see behind all the various media that are in the building today. There's lots of cameras in the building today, guys. Shout out to our media teams in British basketball. So many of them showing out to support Hoops Fix. No one here is paid to be here. Everyone here in this building is here on a voluntary basis, apart from those fans who've been able to help cover the costs of this fantastic event. So now, Mr. Funky Town himself. Dan Clark to give away the MVP award. And getting stats in now as well. Addy had a bio, 15 points, two rebounds, two steals. So here we go, guys. Ah, big discussion. A lot of discussion with the MVP. Dan Clark actually eventually decides the MVP. 15 points, two rebounds, winning team. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Ade Adebayo is MVP. Ade Adebayo takes it, deservedly so. He's right, he could have gone to a few players here today, you know, had the win go the opposite way. Maybe now Harris would have been in for a shout, but Ade Adebayo showed out today, defensively, offensively, deserves it. Showed out for the cameras and there it is the MVP award. Yeah, great performance. We've talked about it all game long. Everybody else on the streams recognized it too. But let's not disregard some of the other big performances today. Mate Okros, 11 points and seven rebounds. Peter Ture, 11 points, also four rebounds. And another 11 points for Hosanna Kitenge to go along with seven rebounds for him as well. So you look at the efficiency. Everybody really on that team black really showing out and then on the white team we have Nathaniel Powell we have 11 points five rebounds 18 points for Niall Harris to go along with five points and two assists Niall Harris big performance for him off the bench for that team white and then 10 points personal for both Jonathan Brown and Conroy Hayden well, a fantastic game of basketball in the underclassmen fixture. Ade Adebayo takes the MVP. Team Black take the win, 85 to 71. But ladies and gents, we're now gearing up for the dunk contest. 